Hello, and welcome to another video for a successful transition from monogamy to open. We are talking about the seven guidelines for great relationships and better communication. And today we're talking about number two, which is express appreciation frequently. Now, yesterday I said that number one, which is accepting your partner as is, is probably the most difficult of the seven, and I do think that it really is. I think that number two, expressing appreciation frequently, is probably one of the most important, and one of the ones where you're really going to see um, the most impact in your relationships if you can learn um, to start engaging this one more. So let's talk a little bit about basically what that means. Um, there's three main points to it. Number one is to avoid the steady criticism. Number two is to acknowledge your partner often for small things, uh, but true, honest appreciation. Um, and the third is to avoid the four relationship killers, which are criticism, contempt, defensiveness, and stonewalling. So let's talk about that a little bit. Um, our brains are really wired to accept ex uh, appreciation and to really seek it out. Um, and especially from those people who are important to us. So whether it's your romantic partner, your children, your siblings, other family members, coworkers, or if you're in a supervisory role, your staff, it is so important to show appreciation uh, frequently and honestly. And it really has great benefits. Um, and research shows that for every one negative comment we give people, it takes five to six positive appreciations to balance out that one negative comment. The problem is so many people have, have come to this belief that giving criticism is their way of showing their love for somebody because they're trying to make them better. Uh, they're trying to improve them. And yet it actually has the opposite effect. Um, people who are very highly criticized um, often don't like themselves. Um, they have uh, huge problems with their self-esteem. And so this constant criticism has a huge uh, negative effect on people. So having that honest appreciation is extremely important. Um, so, I mean, so examples can be things like, it can be simple stuff. It's just telling your partner how much you appreciate they made dinner. Um, maybe if they get up every morning and put the coffee on before you get up, that you tell them, I really appreciate that you get up every morning and make the coffee. Um, if they do little things um, that you don't have to ask, that you let them know. Um, and even if it's something like maybe your partner tends to work a lot of hours and this has been a big issue within your relationship because you feel like they're a workaholic and they're never around, they're working a lot of hours might be their way of showing love because they work very hard to create a good life for the family and that's, and maybe if you can let them know how much you appreciate all the hard work they do and everything they do to create a good life for the family, that can go a long way to lessening that feeling of them not being around enough. Um, and like I said, a lot of people have learned criticism from families. Um, and it's criticism is often very mistakenly learned as, as how people show love. Uh, years ago, I dated someone who had grown up in a family where clearly criticism was this mistaken way of showing love. And it became very obvious that not only, you know, had he dealt with that in with his mother, but his ex-wife. Um, and I remember very distinctly coming back from an event one night and we were at uh, we were at his house and he looked at me and asked me to tell him everything he had done wrong that night. Because he thought that if unless I told him everything he did wrong so he could improve himself, that I didn't love and care about him because that's what he had been taught to believe. Um, and it really affected um, his, his self-esteem and, and how he thought about himself. So in, often it's very, um, it's this perfectionistic type of viewpoint that people have. They're so hard on themselves that now that they're hard on everyone else around them. Um, and it's very destructive. Um, 
And it's not to say that you never are criti criticize the people around you, but how you do it is very important. It is very, you have to do it very carefully and you have to be careful how often you do it. Um, the other, th you know, beyond content, uh, criticism, the other three aspects that you really want to avoid because they're major relationship killers are contempt, which is very poisonous emotion. Um, contempt is that feeling that you're better than the other person, that you know more. Um, we've all seen those people who are contemptuous. We know that emotion very quickly. Um, and it is incredibly destructive um, in relationships. The other one is defensiveness. And often this is something that people struggle with because um, our partner brings up a subject and immediately we get defensive. We want to throw back stuff that they've done because we don't want to have to face what the topic is at the time. Um, they tell us that they're upset because we didn't do the dishes. And you're like, well, you didn't do the dishes last week. It's like, no, 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 this doesn't help. We're not talking about last week. We're talking about now. So really work on if you find yourself being defensive. Really look at this and own this. Um, so that you can change your own behavior. Um, and the last one is called stonewalling, or is that basically that time where you shut down, you just stop talking. Um, I, I've often seen this with couples where they get into some sort of disagreement or fight, and they get to the point where one just walks away and they stop talking. And they don't just stop talking and agree to come back later um, and bring up the conversation once they've cooled down, which can be a very healthy coping mechanism when you're having a lot of conflict. This is where they literally just stop talking. They may not talk for hours or days at a time. And the topic never gets re-brought up, so it never gets um, fi finalized. There's no, um, there's no resolution. That's not a healthy way of dealing with it. Um, and so you can't just brush it under the rug and pretend it didn't happen or it doesn't exist. Um, that's not going to be a healthy way of dealing with it. So that's the part of expressing appreciation frequently. Um, tomorrow we're going to talk about number three, which is communicate from integrity. And I will see you all then. Thanks so much. Bye.